Uh, hey, Sione, uh, can you uh, just, what are you seeing on film of, of Carson Wentz? I mean, it just seems like there, uh, there are some really good things and then some challenging things that he's doing. What, what is he bringing this year? Um, I think he has, I think he could do everything, you know, being an Eagles quarterback, being an NFL quarterback. Uh, but I feel like uh, what I've seen on film is he could throw the ball, obviously. Um, and he's a tough guy. You know, he's a guy that, uh, that kind of plays the quarterback spot like a linebacker. You know, he, he'll run and uh, try to run guys over. Um, and he's always trying to make that, that, uh, that play for his guys, you know, kind of extend drives. Um, so he's willing to put it out there. Um, yeah. Thank you, Mary Kay. Scott Patrick will have our next question. Hey, Sione, what do you see from uh, Miles Sanders that makes him so good? At, you know, his average is whatever, six yards a carry this year. Yeah, those guys are, are really good backs. Uh, Miles Sanders, um, he's, he's one of those shifty little guys, man, that can make you uh, miss, you know, um, in open field and in the box. So um, I feel like we're going to definitely have to swarm to the ball. Uh, and also, he's, he's a guy that they kind of, put out there, flare routes, and uh, kind of toss him the ball and let him pick up yardage. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're definitely going to have to swarm the ball and, and make tackles, make sure that he's not getting uh, yards after contact. I um, feel like he has great vision, you know, and uh, he's a patient runner. He get, gets the ball and um, doesn't – he's not a downhill guy where he's going to get the ball and just hit pit holes. Um, he's going to make sure that he's uh, patient, and once he sees the hole, he's going to hit it. So uh, we definitely got to play gaps now. Is a run defense, what were you guys able to fix coming off the Raiders game to that Texans game last week? Yeah, I feel like just trusting our keys and everybody doing their job, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, the coach has been emphasizing that all year, but I feel like, you know, uh, coming back from the bye is something that we kind of wanted to fix as a defense, as a unit, and, uh, you know, uh, seeing, seeing your job, doing your job, and, uh, you know, once, it, once you know it's run, hitting your gaps, you know, and trusting – um, every, all 11 guys on the field that they'll do their job. And uh, I feel like uh, we started off right, you know, coming off the bye, and I feel like we'll carry that on during the season. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Jeff Shadell, you're up next. Hey, Sion, we don't get to talk to you very often. How would you uh, chart your progress from your rookie year to now? Yeah, I, I, I would say uh, definitely got to prove on, you know, I feel like it's not a, 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 a finish, finish touch at all. You know, I feel like even if it's my tenth year, you know, you'd always have stuff to improve. And I feel like from my rookie year to now, I feel like, uh, you know, uh, the understanding of playbooks and, and, and concepts and stuff like that, and, and, and being able to go out there on the field and perform it. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm I wouldn't say comfortable, but when I get out there on the field, I feel like I'm out there trying to make a play and not worrying about what, what what's my assignment. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's, it's a it's a, it's a work in progress, man. I feel like I gotta I gotta work on everything: run, pass, uh, you know, eyes, uh, discipline in my gap, coverage, all of it. Thank you, Jeff. Dan Lobby will go to you. Hey, Sione, um, what has Ronnie Harrison brought to this defense since, since he's been starting to play a little more? Yeah, man, Ronnie Ronnie's a great uh, great player. He's a great person off the field too. Uh, if you get to talk to him and get to know him, but I feel like what he's brought to the to the team is his playmaking ability. You know what I mean? He's gonna go out there and make those splash plays that the team needs. Um, you know that one play, you got that pick six. You know he's out there already. He's a ball hawk. You know he wants to go out there and make that splash play. So I feel like uh, uh, getting getting Ronnie was a steal, and uh, you know when he's on the field, he's always trying to make that big play. I mean, how does it help you guys when you have a guy like that that can play, you know, up in the box, r rush the passer, but also, you know, he can play free safety kind of wherever they need him? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's great to have him on the field. Everybody's comfortable, you know, when he's when he's in the box, you know, and I'm a linebacker and I see him next to me, you know, I, I got confidence that he's going to, you know, hold the edge or uh, go down there and, and, and try to smack, smack the dude, you know what I mean? And then when he's out there playing the post or he's out there playing the half, I know he's going to be out there covering his tail off and making plays on the ball, you know. So um, definitely a guy that, you know, I feel like coaches, the players, you know, have a ton of confidence in. And um, I feel like as the season goes on, because we've got a lot of football left, uh, he'll continue to fly around and make plays. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Nate Ulrich, you're up next. Hey, I was just wondering um, what your uh, 
view of Miles Garrett's season has been like? Um, what have you seen in Miles? Uh, you know, obviously you, you got to know him last year, and do you think he's taken it to another level this year? Yeah, Miles, uh, he's, he's going to be an all time great, man. You guys can see his play. He's, uh, you know, when he gets on the, when he, you know, Sunday comes and he's out there flying around in sacks, strip sacks, uh, he's having a phenomenal year. Uh, this year, I feel like a defensive MVP type season, but um, I feel like he, you know, that's like even last year, you know, coming in, seeing how dominant he is, uh, he's definitely a a guy that kind of goes out there and wrecks the games, you know. Um, offensive coordinators definitely have to, um, you know, double them up. And, you know, it kind of frees up a lot of people. But, you know, what I see is just a guy who works hard um, and goes out there on Sundays and executes. You know, he loves his teammates. Um, you know, I feel like on defense, we're a tight unit. You know, everybody, uh, you know, we get along well. But, yeah, Miles brings that leadership and that playmaking ability. So I know you guys want to win more than anything. But, you know, Miles has talked about wanting to win that NFL Defensive Player of the Year award since he got drafted. Um, do you guys ever talk about that? Uh, is his teammates wanting to help him get there? Or, I mean, is that is that any kind of motivation for anybody on the defense? No, I feel like uh, it's kind of one of those things that, you know, everybody already knows. It's, it doesn't have to be discussed. You know, we're kind of just out there working as a unit. We're worrying about, you know, winning games and stuff. But definitely that just kind of becomes natural. You know, you kind of one of those things we're not in the locker room. Hey, Miles, you know, we're going to help you, you know. But, uh, you know, on Sundays, you know, his game speaks for itself. He's out there uh, making plays left and right. So. Thank you, Nate. Scott Petrick, back to you. Hey, Sione, you get to see Jacob Phillips a lot more than we have because we haven't seen him that much in games. Um, so what do you see out of him as a player? And then how have you kind of helped him deal with what I would guess would be frustration from not being able to play that much because of the injury? Yeah, man. See Jacob a lot. That's my dude. You know, obviously the linebacker unit, we're, we're pretty knit tight. Uh, but, yeah, you know, him coming off that injury, you know, it's kind of frustrating. Um you know, dealing with injuries, you know, guys want to be out there playing, especially, you know, Jacob, you know, I feel like uh, even my last year when I hurt my hamstring, you know, I kind of, you know, kind of just told him, hey, man, it's one of those things where you got to just put your head down and work, get healthy. You know, you, uh, you know, kind of talking about it, you know, and kind of put you in a bad mood. So, um, but he's, he's, he's coming along right. You know what I mean? He's a great player. Um, and, and I feel like, you know, when he's out, when he gets out there on the field, you know, you guys will see how great of an impact he can be uh, when he touches that field. Uh, but he's, he's grinding, uh, trying to get back uh, ready. And I feel like uh, he's been, he's been practicing this week and looking healthy, looking right. And, you know, everything should be smooth once, once he gets on the field. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot has our next question. Hey, Sione, um, when, when you look at the Eagles you, and you see that three, five, and one record, you know, you might think that, uh, that they're not a very good football team, uh, but it seems like they're getting guys back healthy. And Miles Sanders, again, as you talked about, is, is starting to run hard. Zach Ertz might play this weekend. Uh, so what, what is your view of, you know, just how good of a football team they might be? Yeah, you know, um... You know, just watching tape, you know, they're a good team. Obviously, they had some games that didn't go their way, but stand to fail, you know, it, it happens. But, um, you know, going into this week, man, we're, we're, we're going to be ready for it all, man. They're going to come out flying, ready to go. You know, they're trying to win this game. Obviously, their conference is not going as, as planned, but they're leading the conference. So they're trying to come out here and get a dub. And um, we'll definitely have to be ready. You know, we, we don't take this guy, these guys as slouch looking at their record. Uh, we know these guys can play some ball. You know they got a good quarterback, a uh, good uh, good running back, and uh, like you said, they got a good tight end. Zach Ertz, if he's back, will be ready. And they got some guys on on the outside that can make some plays. So, uh, you know, we, we we're looking at their record, but you know we watch the tape, so we're you know we know we got to be um, on our p's and q's when we get out there. 